Welcome to Fork the First of the Choose Your Own Adventure Fusion 360 CNC machining of the Spelunking Light. We're in the model space here, and what we are going to do is create a stock model of the stock that we are going to machine. If we go ahead and select which plane we're going to be in, we want to be in that Z and uh, X. We want to be in Y and X, so that's that guy. I like to keep everything the same, so I just chose the two-point rectangle. Now, Fusion 360 is going to be glitchy because they're constantly monitoring what kind of pornography you're into, always communicating with the mothership. They're kind of a pain in the cunning linguals on account of they update stuff all the time and stuff goes missing. And it's like somebody's in there fiddle-fucking around with your program, you know, because it's not local. So it drives me fucking bananas. But what it does have going for it is it's cheap, it's quite ubiquitous. A lot of people do a lot of tutorials. Also, you can change things in the model space on your drawing and then go back to the cam and uh, and everything just works. It's also quite powerful for, for the price of it. So I chose the rectangle four inches by four inches. I just tabbed over, hit the enter. That is our stock rectangle. Bing. Now what we're going to do, we go create extrude. We select this guy. Oh, it already selected it because it's too smart for its own good. Okay, so that's going to be 5.5 inches long. Now, the problem with this is the count is far too large to fit in the hole of the tiny little 5-inch vise. First time tight, second time all right. But in this case, we got to put some wings to her. So we're going to change this face here. First corner, same, same. We go uh, 1 inch across. No. We want to do four inches down, tab one inch across, hit the enter. Same, same kitty corner. Now we got our two wings, and we're just going to angulate the, the viddy here so we can see what we're to. And ditto, we got to create this. So we select that guy, we select that guy. Arrow's moving out, so we want to go negative 0 0.130. The jaws are uh, an eighth. High, so that's 0.125. That gives us 50 thou clearance. Ought to be just dandy. That's all it takes to make a design in Fusion 360. Very simple design, very quick, pretty damn intuitive.